What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video of Coach Q Bowling the Left Way. And today we're going to talk about equipment, both on the lanes and off the lanes. So a lot of people look at your equipment and you say, what do I need? You're always going to need a lot of things when it comes to bowling because bowling is also one of those sports where if you don't have what you need, you're going to need it when you don't have it. So let's go ahead and look at the equipment that we have. All right, so here's some of the equipment that I have for myself. And a lot of it is going to be, be used for either on the lanes or off the lanes. So when we go to on the lanes, you wanna make sure that you have a good rag to wipe all of that excess oil off of your ball because if you continue to have excess oil on your ball, it's gonna get that different reaction that you don't want to have. So having a good rag is going to be good for you. It can be made of leather or you can get a microfiber towel from your local store. Then you have your shoe covers or your slides. So when it comes to your bowling shoes, you wanna have a good shoe that is going to allow you to either slide or stop depending on your style of bowling. And then of course, when you have those high-end shoes, having a different pad is going to help you because there are certain lanes where the lines are gonna be very slick and there's gonna be certain lanes where the lines just have no kind of slide at all. So having a different pad to be able to change to is going to help that game and make sure that your game continues to be that high performance game that you're looking for. And then of course, you have your buffer bag. So your buffer bag is what you can use to wrap up your ball and get some of that oil off once you're done uh, bowling. With the buffer bag, you wanna use that as well for those winter nights so that when you have your stuff in your bag, your ball isn't getting too cold, or if you're leaving it in the area, it has that good temperature so they're not cracking, because that's what happens a lot of times. People will leave their bowling balls in a extreme environment, either heat or cold, and then their bowling ball is cracked and now you just wasted a lot of money. So when it comes to uh, after, so when you're done, you wanna have you a good roller, something that you can sit your bowling ball on and be able to roll your bowling ball around and make sure that it gets clean. When it comes to cleaner, you wanna get you a good cleaner from either your local pro shop or you can find them online. If you are strapped for a little bit of cash and you wanna make some on your own, you can use uh, rubbing alcohol that's 100% and of course you wanna dilute it or you can use something like Simple Green. Simple Green is a very good cleaner to use but of course you wanna make sure that it's diluted because if you, do, if you try and use it straight, you're gonna mess up the cover stock of your ball. You also wanna have a good shoe scrubber because with a shoe scrubber, is going to get all that extra gunk from your shoes. And then of course, if you're bowling and you don't have the extra slides, you can use a shoe scrubber to either make it to where you can stop or make it to where you can slide. So that's gonna be very important. And then of course, when you're cleaning your balls, you always wanna make sure that you have a good rag. You wanna make sure that it's either microfiber or it's gonna uh, be a buffer pad so that this way you can get those bowling balls clean and make sure that you maintain them. Cleaning your bowling balls, you wanna do that probably every 20 to 30 games uh, with a deep clean or go to your local pro shop and have them resurface it back to the way it was in the box or whatever it is that you wanna have surfaced. And then, after you're done uh, bowling every night, you wanna get all that excess oil off of your bowling balls because having that excess oil, all it's gonna do is sit inside the bowling ball and it's not gonna get the reaction that you want. So you wanna make sure that you have those done. All right, and last but not least is your Aberlon pads. Aberlon pads are very, very important, especially when you get to a tournament or you get to a league and they change the pattern or you don't know what the pattern is. When you have your different Avalon pads like 500, 2000, 3000, 4000, these pads are what's going to change the surface of your bowling ball if you're allowed to do that so that you can get a better reaction on the oil and how the lanes are uh, oiled or laid out. So make sure you have these in your bag and make sure that you keep them fresh. So make sure you order it as much as you can so that you can get that good reaction that you're looking for on your bowling ball. And there you have it. So get out there and get the equipment that you need. There's a lot of home stuff that you can do, like we talked about when it comes to alcohol or some kind of cleaner. And then of course, when it comes to the pads, you don't always have to buy that expensive stuff. But if you wanna get that high-end stuff that's gonna maintain and gonna last a little bit longer, get with your local pro shops or get online and find the things that you need. But your equipment is always necessary, so make sure that you keep it up and make sure that you get what is necessary. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and soul. We're out.